March. Well, it is the first Thursday in this month of March, of course, and there's a big event that's happening. And you know, I was listening to Evans forecast. I don't think the rain is going to mess with you. Right. There will be artists, DJs, performers heading to Hillcrest and you should too, and you can walk in art. This is really fun. <laughs> Hillcrest Business Association Executive Director Benjamin Nichols joining us this morning to give us a sneak peek at all of this and this new massive mural that you're uh, next to there. So uh, tell us where you are right. and what you're going to be showing us here this morning. We are right down here at Sixth and University in Hillcrest on the sidewalk, and we are getting ready for Walk in Art, which is our monthly art walk. We're bringing it back after COVID. We're really excited. I'm here with Joya. She's going to be showcasing some of her art and, and, and crafts and fashion. fashion. That's yeah. right. Great. At Walk in Art. Um, Joya, do you want to say hello? Yes. This is my ninth time participating in a Walk in Art. I'm so excited that it's back. I'm going to be doing 20% off all dresses and sweaters. Ooh, and cool. fashion is a form of art, so I'll be representing fashion in a walk in art tonight. So. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I like that fashion is a form of art. You're absolutely right, That's Joya. True. That's amazing. Uh, so walk in art will be happening today. Four o'clock is what I was reading, right? Uh, yeah, so we're going to be unveiling this new mural okay. at four o'clock, and then you can walk in art around the corner. and. Walk in Art is actually held in an alleyway that has been adopted by muralists in Hillcrest. Mm -hmm. So you can go into the alley. There'll be vendors. There's food. It's going to be really exciting. We have music, live performances. But let me show you a little sneak peek. Yes, please say, do. Can we see a Our CW bit? viewers are getting a first Ooh. exclusive look at some of the colors. And I see some. Uh, uh, like a rainbow. There's kind like. of like, yeah, like, uh, wow, that's kind of like some pastels in there maybe like that. So this mural is over 160 feet oh, wide. Wow. It's gigantic. And wow. so if you come to uh, Sixton University at four o'clock today, mm -hmm. you will see this gigantic mural. It's it's transformative. I I'm love excited. these. I love these murals. We've talked to muralists before about the vision they have to have. Right. I mean, you're not just looking at a small canvas in front of you. You've got to have a vision. You've got to have this stenciled out. You've got to know what you're doing. So mm -hmm. it's just such an impressive form of art. Right, right. Because you see it in such a big form. Sixth and University. That's going to okay. be the place to go. Good tease. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for giving us a little peek of that. I'm very much curious what the rest of it looks like. Uh, tell us about the muralist behind it and what was kind of the purpose or the the, you know, inspiration behind that. So um, the muralist is Jason Gould. Okay. Is, he's a North Park muralist, and he will be on site today to talk about his mural. Um, the mural really represents an intersection. This is a critical intersection in the heart of Hillcrest, and so the mural represents that intersection, people coming together in the heart of Hillcrest, transportation, gathering, all the things that we love about Hillcrest. And when you see the mural, you'll understand that that intersection quality to it. I, I love, love that. that. Yeah. yeah. And it's not, so not just murals and not just some uh, good looking clothes out there. There's lots and lots and lots of art uh, to, to see and do out there. Right. What else you guys got out there for folks? We, we have a lot of artists coming out. We've um, walk in art is in an alleyway that is completely taken over by muralists. So as you walk through the alley, you will see um, all sorts of art on the walls. It's just like they've completely taken over. The, um, we also have a uh, gallery that's right there. Um, Patrick is here. He is the gallery owner. Oh, cool. He's Hi, got Patrick. His new crow show. Uh, um, do you want to just uh, talk a little bit about the crow show? Yes, please. That's a San Diego tradition. It's now in its eighth year, and local artists will be hanging alongside of Nancy artists. It's a great show. Yeah, so there's cool. a lot going on in Hillcrest. Come out, have a cocktail if you like. Get some food, buy some fashion, and we're, and we've um, we've really got going to have a great time bringing back walking art. Yeah, bringing it back. And you know what's really important? We want to support artists, uh, but also businesses that are there yeah. supporting local true, businesses, true. seeing that traffic again, and people going out exploring every every business there. Uh, if we can bring in those two, Joya and your buddy, I, I forgot his name that you just mentioned. Patrick. Patrick, Patrick, sorry, yes. hi Patrick. Uh, for both of you guys too, I mean, the importance of seeing people coming out for walk in art, what will that do for your businesses? I'm sorry, say that again? How important is it for business owners to see so many people coming back out? You know, art is so Definitely. essential yeah. for the community and businesses love it. Yeah. Bring the people out. Yeah. I, I think that one of the really important things is for people to come back out and realize that we're coming out of these dark days 
and business is back, special events are back. And so take that time to come out and maybe explore a business or an art uh, exhibit that you hadn't seen before. It's a great opportunity to get out of the house. <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely. Yes. And nothing <laughs> brightens you up more than a colorful art and, yes. and the artists behind it, that's and, for sure. And I was going to ask you, too, I saw drink specials, Old Fashions, is that Ooh. right? <laughs> that's, that's right. We, are, um, we have cocktails available, and we showcase a different cocktail every month. It is Hillcrest, after all. And so this month's cocktail is our Old Fashioned that we're <laughs> going to be showcasing. So come by. All the money that's raised at Walk in Art goes back to support Hillcrest trimming trees, emptying trash cans. So when you buy that old fashioned or even a piece of art, you're really supporting the neighborhood. That's wonderful. Is the mural alley that you're talking about right there at Sixth and University? Yeah, the, the murals at Sixth and University and walk in art is in the alleyway just around the corner. Okay, That's so awesome. Just that, park around there, take an Uber or a Lyft yeah. if you want those old fashions yeah. and have a great if, time. <laughs> Um, if you want more information about Walk in Art, um, go to fabulousilchrist.com or um, firstthursdayartnight.com. Benjamin, thanks so much for your time yeah. and for sharing these artists with us and the wonderful art that they're creating. This is going to be an exciting day for everyone. It's a celebration. Absolutely. And thanks to Joya and Patrick, too. Great to thanks, see you. Thanks, guys. You. Patrick, we love your, your jacket. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Bye -bye. See ya. Bye bye. Smash it all around. There you go. <laughs> I'm fun. so curious with that giant. Oh, I know. Was. That was a good little teaser. Yeah, we saw a little bit. <laughs> That's it. Coming up.